Hello, this is BAM Science, and today I'm going to give a demonstration of buffer solutions. A buffer is basically a solution of a weak acid and a weak conjugate base. When a strong acid or base is added, the buffer solution neutralizes it without any drastic changes in pH. In a minute, I'm going to explain why this happens, but first, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration. Here I have a solution of 10th molar, molar sodium acetate and acetic acid solution, and a burette filled with hydrochloric acid. As you can see, the pH is about 4.5. Now, I will add 5 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. As you can see, the pH is still 4.5. The buffer has neutralized the acid without any drastic pH changes. Now I'll add another 10 milliliters or so. So the pH has dropped about 0 0.01, 0 0.02, but the acid hasn't really had any great effect. So let's see if I can get the pH to change. Yeah, it's starting to drop a little, but not drastically so. Now I've added about 35 milliliters or so. Uh, the pH is 4.4 now, which is only about 0 0.01 less than what we started with. So that's basically what a buffer does, and now I'm going to tell you how it works. As I said earlier, a buffer is a solution of a weak acid and a weak conjugate base. Here, the weak acid is represented as HA, and the conjugate base is A-. The H plus is of course a hydrogen ion. When a strong acid, such as hydrochloric acid, is added, the free A- ions react with the excess hydrogen ions to form the weak acid HA, reducing the concentration of hydrogen ions until the equilibrium has been re-established. When a strong base, such as sodium hydroxide, is added, the hydroxide ions react with the free hydrogen ions to form water, reducing the hydrogen ion concentration. As a result, more HA molecules dissociate until the hydrogen ion concentration is once again at equilibrium. So that's how a buffer works, and I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration.